So, hey everybody. This is part two of the stationery haul. Uh, the, uh, every item, every item here I received, every item I received from Amazon. I purchased on Amazon. So, the first is a other pencil case. This one I thought was a little interesting just because of the way it opens. You have the, the front part here. It does have a little pouch. And then it also opens this direction so that you can access your items this way. See my fingers? It goes through that way so you can access it that way as well. So let me show you a little bit up close. I'm going to try to show you up close on a lot of these items. I don't think the last video showed you very well. What do you try to the case? Like I've seen it before and I had it on my wish list for a long time. It has a little loop here, but it sits like that. The bottom's pretty pretty wide and flat. So you can access it through the top. It does have a little pouch here. And then you can also access it this way. So if I want to close it like that, then I can just reach in. And which is the part that actually interests me more was just having it sitting on your desk somewhere. Like that. And then just closing it up. Because right now I'm using this. This was the item I was actually waiting for. It is my jet pin, the red one. So I have black, which I use all the time, and I have blue, and then I finally ordered red. And I think it came with these post-it things, but I'm not really going to show this. you. This will be one of the options. So this one is red. I don't have one of my other red pens I was using before, but I was hoping that it wouldn't bleed through, say, like this paper. But it's bled through every paper I have used. So I know the jet pens uh, will not bleed through. So that's one item. And then it does come with these little stationary... Um, post-it notes. So that's that. And it just opens up like that. So it's just a little I guess flags. I can show you these. These aren't really a stationary item. I guess they are. Um, I love this one. This set here I found. I've seen a lot of shirts with these types of images on them. And I think they were called Vapor Wave, I think t-shirts. I have two of their t-shirts, but they have some really cool shirts. But I got these. Um, I usually have them all over my... I put them all over my bookshelves and just large furniture items. But these ones I'm actually going to put on This my is actually a lot bigger than what I thought it would be. Oh, okay, this is the set. So this is the... If I can see... Mirori... MD paper, MD notebook. So this is the cover here, and then the notebook is on the back. So comes, let me open this. You can buy these separately, but it's cheaper if you want to purchase these um, together. So that comes with the cover. This is the so cover. Let me show you that. This is the back of it. And this is the back of the notebook. I believe it is gridded. Lay flat book. It's kind of like these campus books. Uh, I wish I had one of my other ones, but when you open them up, they lay flat. Our composition books we sell here don't do that. So I was just looking for a lay flat book, but I thought this actually was going to be smaller than it is. So I'm really excited that it's not that small. So here is the cover for the book. Take that piece off. And it even comes with like a little pin. Holder. That's kind of cool. We have that. And then this is... Okay, so it has wax paper around it. So, let's see. Looks like... Simoli. Okay, and it comes with string. Let me show you this up close. Better that way. So this is the cover. It's just a plain clear plastic um, piece. And I can just take this part out. This is the journal, it has wax paper, keep it protected, and it's got a ribbon in it to mark pages, and just these little stickers, 
I've heard really good things about these journals. This one here. This says freedom to, you know, write whatever you want in it. Here's the paper. Okay, and it just has this like it has this really tough tape here. Wax paper. So you don't have to buy the cover, but when I really looked at the book um, online, I was kind of like, oh yeah, that, that's going to get really messed up. Here's the cover. So there it is. There's a little cover on it and the little holder here. And just a nice lay flat notebook. I just like the spine on it. Like, it just opens and lays flat. They're starting to sell more flat notebooks here, but um, not too many. And most of the paper it, they have blank ones and just like this really weird brown color paper. It's more like scrapbooking type of paper that I've seen in our department stores. Oh, this is um, just refills paper. For the smart binders, so spiral binders that open up on the side. This is just replacement paper. For those, so it's the pre-dotted one. Let me show you close. So I'm sorry about the glare, but it's just the pre-dotted. If you can see it, yeah, you can see a lot better in this light. The dotted lined paper. So this will fit in my smart notebook. See how easy it is with like spacing and stuff. It's a lot easier to do it with the dotted. So everything looks pretty nice and even. Just that. Oh, here is one of the, uh, the smart binders. This one I bought first before the I found teal the one, the yellow things. one, and then I, I found this one online on Amazon. I think they're pretty much the same price on Amazon. So I mean, it doesn't really matter, but this is what this replacement paper is for. You can fit 60 pages in these, so you know I got 200 here. So I have plenty of paper for these books. But I already have plans for one of them, so this will be a good um, addition. Let me show you this a little bit closer because I didn't really show you so much. Now that I have time, I've had time to kind of mess around with my um, um, stationery update on these these liners is they're, the only one they're a nice want. idea but the thing is when you highlight they become glossy and if you have the pages okay if you have the pages facing each other hold on. um say like this is the book i was working on yesterday this one's gonna be my cheaty book which is the book that came with this Folder. I just took it out because it was easier to have it open, but it slides into this and then it and it has this and then it has my cheaty uh, maps on the inside. So I don't know if you remember it. It has this inside it, so those go together. But <coughs> this is going to be my cheaty book. Here, let me. I've uh, already labeled out each. Um, each like land mass, you know, yeah, like Hokkaido, uh, yeah. Kohoku, uh, Chugoku, um, you have Shikoku in the bottom, Kyushu, and um, you have all of the, I forget what you call them, like Kinki, Chiho, it's like the land mass areas, the groupings. Anyway, I have it split up in those. There's only 30 pages in this, so it fits all the prefectures because there's 47, so it leaves a few pages in the back for extra notes. But this is what I was working on yesterday. So I have this and I decided to highlight here. Let me let me show you. So I decided to highlight this piece here, which is let me pick a different page. So I have them, you can see, um, across from each other. Now this is one that ripped off. You can see it. It ripped off and I've already fixed it. Um, I had to white it out. 
because it took an imprint from the other side. So, let's see if any of them have messed up. What happened, like this one, okay, this one I didn't really fix yet, right here. This is what happens. It's pretty gross. And I had some that were Ill illegible, but this one I can still read, so I've left it. Like this one here I've fixed. I had to white it out, rewrote it, and then I um, highlighted it again. Uh, let's see, most of these look pretty good. Um, looks like I had to fix that one a little bit. Don't see the ones that really messed up. Oh, this one. It was this one, but I haven't highlighted it since. I wish I took a video or a picture of them before, but they were illegible. Pretty much what happened was when the pages overlapped, it pinched together and then it ripped the tape off. And um, it left like a weird imprint. See, this ones are a little messed up, and it's because of the highlighter, actually. So, it, it just ripped off the tape and imprinted the word on the other side. Like, it was just a huge mess, pretty much. So, there is a few issues I have with this. So, I'll only use these in books. It doesn't always... Um, come out very easily. A lot of times you'll get it in chunks uh, or it'll like wrap around itself and once it's on the page you so can't scratch all I did it was white out over any area. <laughs> uh, I would show you this one but I've already whited it out. Um, I, it happened here as well and I couldn't get it off so I had to white it out and then start below that because I can't write with pencil on top of the white out. <laughs> So these, let's see, what was the other issue? There was something else. They're hard to get off. They don't lay very smoothly. Um, they worked really well in my books as far as I know. They haven't rubbed off on the books. Um, kind of like the example book I used in that other video. Uh, I went through and highlighted all of, all of the grammar points. And they also get really dirty, and that is like showing right here. I don't know if you can see it, it's a glossy. But like it, it turns turns black or gray if you're using it with pencil. So I wouldn't suggest use a pencil. Um, it, it it can be kind of hard to apply, but the issue I really had was it sticking to each other. If you have something on both sides of the page, they stick, and then it rips off. Um, like the, the, the graphite from the other side, it just kind of ripped off that and then it imprinted on both sides so they were illegible. I couldn't read anything, I wish I took a video of them. So I wouldn't suggest getting these. I've noticed that the price has gone up on them. They're about 20 bucks now. So I hope you guys haven't purchased them yet, but they're a cool idea. I really like the idea, but they, they need to, I need to find a different, different one that isn't so glossy. The Smart Binder. Once again, let's show you it a little up close. Oh, this is the um, periodic stodgy key I use all the time. I wasn't sure if I would showed you it um, in the last haul video. But this so is the Smart Binder. It's pretty much the same one that was in my other video. It shows you how to use it. And it has this little piece that just protects the clip that's right here keep it from separating and transit, I suppose, because it's just wrapped in plastic. So you just pinch it off right here, off the little loop, and then it just slides up that. So it's just protecting this part. So I don't know if you can see it, but the bindings do open. I'm gonna get you an angle which you can see it. Okay, let's open it and show you. Yeah, it's a little easier, but they show you how to correctly align. Uh, oh, it must be on the other page. I was like, it shows you how to correctly align the, there they are, the little claws. They open up. So this just shows you how to close it and open it. They pop off that little button holder thing. Um, so it shows you the parts, the names of each part how not to do it. You don't want them to line up like this, you want them to line up like that. 
and that means it's closed. So that is what it is and how to use it. It's pretty easy. Um, like I said, there's those little teeth here. You find the little button and you just push and it just opens like that. See, and it's like little claws. Close, and then it just closes up pretty easy. You just make sure all the pages are in there. So just close it like that. There's no sound or anything when it closes. So it surprises me the first time. But yeah, and it's closed. That's it. So you can what I really like about these is you can add you can add paper. So say you work on this is good for like language learning and stuff. You know how sometimes you go over a topic again, but in a different way or something that's similar. Um, then you can always add sheets in older notes so that they're still in order. Um, you can't do that with spiral notebooks, and you can with these binders. So I like how flat they are. I wish they hold more paper. So they do have binders that are like this that are open, you know, like a real binder where it's got the flat piece rather than just the spiral like this. But they, they're still 26 whole, is it 26? Yeah, 26 whole B5 size um, loose leaf paper. That's what they use. So there's right now there's 25 yeah. sheets in this. It's pretty cool. I think they said somewhere you're not supposed to have it open like this. I think I read it somewhere that you're not supposed to have it open like that. You're supposed to leave it like this. I think the pages can come loose. I don't really remember though. Yeah, yeah, it says here to not do that, if you can see it. Yeah, it says not to have it open flat. So that is something that's a little bit different from a spiral where you can lay it like this. They don't suggest you doing that with these. I just they like how it. easy it is because usually when I write in these, I just take a sheet out and I'll write on just my strategy key. I'll just write on that and then when my sheet is done, then I put it in the binder. Like it's just like any other binder. My last item, I, I'm kind of, I'm going to use these for my oh, um, kanji. Let me show you these. These are pretty expensive, so I, I didn't realize the size, but I, I like the size, but it's too small for grammar. So this one's S5. There's 80 sheets, so that makes 160 all together. So this is all it is right here. And I love these um, campus books because they do lay flat. And they don't fall apart. I should, I wish I had my other. The way they're binded are just different than ours. So it looks like it's just grid, has a place for the date, and that's it. So that's these. That's the other thing I had come in. Um, I, th I don't remember what brand it was, but I think it might have been Excel brand that came out with a stay open binder. I think I talked about this in one of my other study videos. Um, the lay, f not lay, not binder, lay flat notebook, and it was advertised as a lay flat, like a stay open book. So you would just open it and it just stays open. And it did that, but it only took me two pages in to start losing paper out of it. And the whole binding, like there's this tape here, this whole piece, it all started peeling off. And it was like in a, like a chunk, it started all peeling off. And those notebooks were like, they were like three or four dollars a piece. So they were really expensive. I only bought one, but don't ever buy them in the US. If you can find the campus, campus books are really good for laying flat open, you know. I don't know our if you composition books our... when I should have one, but I don't keep our composition books. But when you open them, the pages tend to want to flip back over so they're closed. Um, you lose your spot all the time because they flip around and it's just really annoying. But these books don't do that, so I really like it. So let's go ahead and open some of these stickers and see what I got.
So I have another really quick uh, mini haul. I received three of the other three campus notebooks today. And this was from Amazon. And then I also received this from Amazon. I found it searching for highlighters, but they also sell these on JetPin. It's called the Beetle Tip 3-Way Marker. So it pretty much just has, it has a really odd looking tip. If you can see so it. I'll show you it here. And there's the package. Now I have another package here from JetPins. Okay, the first item here is a pencil. This is the Dell Guard Type ER. Um, it is pretty much like the Kudu Tolga pencil. Um, it, I can't really remember the differences. There is a video on JetPins YouTube channel that explains the difference. And also on JetPins, they go over the difference. But it has a, oh yeah, the unbreakable lead. Because it has this little cylinder that doesn't let the lead come out more than just a few centimeters. It has it in there. Four erasers. Yeah. Oh, and that that was the one other thing. Here's the um, lead system. The little uh, metal piece comes out all the way so that you don't break lead, which you do. Um, the Kudutoka ones do still break because it doesn't come out. The little sheath doesn't come out as far as this one. And then the eraser, all you do is turn it upside down and it releases the eraser and then turn it back over to uh, retract okay. it. This one is just the pencil sharpener. Oh, yeah. Shape the wood and then you sharpen the lead. So it's supposed to be for a long point. So that is, this is so extra long sharpener. This is the style that I picked. Just the Pilot Opt pen. I think it's a .5. I'm not really sure how skinny the, uh, the, um, writing is. And then this one is an eraser has five points. It's the um, one row eraser so you can use it to just erase certain parts instead of the whole area. So it's got a lot of different shapes and sizes so you can choose on how <clears throat> wide the margin is that you're trying to erase. So it's just an oddly shaped eraser and they have a lot of really odd shaped erasers on jet pens. This one is a red jet stream pen and a 0.5. So the ones I use are 0.7. So I wanted to try a skinnier um, writing ballpoint. And these I think are, oh no, these ones are 0.4. So I have a blue and a red. So they're just more pens to try. They had really good ratings, so I thought I would try it. This is the brand Sarasa. It's like Sarasa Macron Zebra Pins with the 0.4 thickness. And this one is just a normal pen pilot, but this one's the Pet Ball. So it's made out of uh, pet bottles, so it's recycled material. So they kind of made it designed to look like a uh, plastic bottle. Be really skinny. So 0.38 jet stream, I think. Yeah, this one's a jet stream. This one is blue. So this one will write really skinny. 0.38. Sorry. So this one is a shaker pencil. A monograph mechanical pencil 0.5 lead and this one instead of pushing on the end you actually just shake it, it is the mechanism that releases the lead you'll go like this 
So pretty much the purpose is just that you don't move your hand from the pencil. More of a fun item other than necessity. They're magnets, but they're little pinwheels and you can actually still you can see them moving right now. Um, but they're just little tiny pinwheels that you can stick anywhere. They're really neat. If you look at the video on them, there's a lot of different colors. Just little tiny pinwheels. Kazeguruma. And we have highlighter. Optex Easy Highlighter. This one just had really good ratings, so I thought I would give it a try. It had really good um, no smear ink, so that's one reason also I wanted to try it. And these are refills for an eraser. So this is um, just a little eraser that has a whole bunch of corners on it. And like I said, these ones are refills. So it's just a very tiny eraser. I don't know too much about it. It does have a nice rubber grip here, but it is just the mono one eraser. These go with the, not the hole punch, but the protector, the hole punch protector um, stickers. I forget what they are called. They're like little stabilizers you use for the, for our paper to keep them from getting ripped. I do have the machine for it. Um, I had it, this machine here, I have it on my other stationary hull. They have, it has a little inserter machine that you can use this with. And then I have another mild liner. This one I think is coral. And I have ordered more of these on Amazon. Because I found them for a pretty good price on there. If you just need one or two mild liners, you should get them on jet pens. They're a lot cheaper, but if you want to get the whole all the packs, then so far as I've seen, Amazon has them for cheaper. We have another highlighter. This one also is really good for um, not smearing. Another highlighter. And here is the stick that I have the extra pieces for down here. This one is the actual stick. So I will open it. It does have a little ring here so you can hook it to like a backpack or a keychain or like to the zipper of your pencil case. And this is a this is a waterproof uh, little notebook. You can take it outside and it has paper that won't smear if it gets wet. I picked the grid paper and you can pick different types. So it's made of water repellent paper. I'll show you. The comic this time is a little different. And the last few items has another highlighter. Is this template? It has um, it folds out like this picture, so you can use a little with shapes or you can use the uh, letters here and it has a ruler. I have seen this on Amazon but I found it a lot cheaper on 
jet pens is where I purchased this one. It's another 15 centimeter ruler. has two different colors, the red and black. And I know there's a purpose for the colors. I'm just really not sure what it is. I haven't really looked too much into it yet. Hey, sir. It comes with a little um, clip here that you can put it on um, pretty much anything. You just screw this piece off and it looks like this. Let's see if you can look at it. Kind of looks like holy cheese. But the purpose of it is to um, give you more corners to work with when you're um, erasing. I wanted to buy more of them, but they are pretty expensive. So I thought, well, maybe I can order just one set. They're just magnets. No, it doesn't work. Let's see. Oh, I see. The the top part. It Those got ones pointed and that one's bent. But I don't really have um tweezers or not tweezers, pliers on me at the moment. So I think I'm pretty sure I can figure out a way to fix this one. And if I can't, then it still looks pretty But these cool. are pretty cool, even if one of them isn't working at the moment. I'll see if I can get it um, put back together. But they're just little magnets. And I'm just going to put them probably on the fridge, because if I leave them out here, then my cat will probably take them and carry them off somewhere, and I'll never see them again. I received these from Amazon, three packs of mild liners. They were about $14 for all three. Um, it's cheaper if you want to buy them like that on Amazon, but they do have them on jet, jet pens so as well. So the packs that I selected were the cool colors, and then we had like the warm colors, and then these are kind of more of the fluorescent colors, I believe. Like yellow, for orange, those, pink, blue, and purple, I think, in that set. So they're supposed to be really familiar colors. I think those ones are a little deeper than this set, but this one is going to be the faintest set. And maybe it might come out even a little pastel. I'm not sure. But that is the three set that I got uh, on Amazon. So this one is sort of the more darker colored ones. I think they call them the cool color. Um, the kanji means like bitter or sour. So I think they're just really deep color. This this one here is the um, the highlighting, the highlight ones, the ones that are very faint color, very bright, but not very deep. And this set is kind of like the my like a warm colors. I think it's they're also pretty deep looking. Um, I don't really know what this means, like peaceful. I don't really know what this means. And there's another set you can get that is, um, they call it like familiar colors, so they're pretty simple colors. <coughs> What's that glowing back there? Uh, I think it's the... It was January 5th. Camera. Last night I moved around my supplies 
just kind of wanted to go over what I have over here. The rest of my books are out there. And then I have all of the books that I use more often. Over kind here. of a sweep over, but these are the ones I'm working on at the moment. All my fifth grade books. And I have these drill books. And I'm going to use these white labels. And I'll put a date on them when they're completed. But the ones that have the white label are completed already. So these ones are all old books. dictionaries get a lot better lighting out here and these are just all kind of workbooks and then this one is just one of my campus books that you saw and one of those haul videos and here are some more um, notebooks and this one is my um, Japanese podcast notebook. This one's just a whole bunch of old stuff. This one has some, like, other... I think this one has old stuff in it also. And then my Mokuji. And some folders that have stuff in them. And then more textbooks. And ones I've completed. But I haven't marked them at the bottom yet. Got my ring of flashcards, rulers. I kind of have everything in an order, but it's still not organized the way I'd like it. These are just magazines, and then the games back there. They're actually not in there, they're in that case. And then my shredder. And these ones are all flashcards. And then my stodgy keys here. Those ones are new flashcards. And then some new ones as well. My non-Japanese flashcards are up here. Back there. And then I just have some rulers and pens that I commonly use. And then I just have these laying in here for the moment. And there's nothing in the bottom one. Stationery there. I don't have everything in yet. I got paper. Just some loose leaf stuff and all my DVDs. Um, the ones that are missing out of here are in that those cases there and that case there. So some of them I have gotten rid of the actual box because I needed more room on my bookshelves. Here are some more textbooks and more used notebooks. And then these are my new notebooks and then some of my old ones. The school ones you guys have seen before, and then I have some of the used book or some of the new books that I got in that haul video down here. That I would show you the new setup for the new year. All right, thanks for watching.